Hello, everybody. Josh the RV Ninja converting to night mode here at Advantage One Auto and RV, where we have savings by the bushel. <laughs> So stupid. Oh, what if that was someone's slogan, savings by the bushel? But, well, unless, like, you actually, you know, like, ran a farm, and then it would really make sense. But I don't, I don't do that. Um, we sell campers. <laughs> 3,350 pounds, extremely nice little wolf pup back here. And as far as I can see with this camper, the only problem it has is it needs a new owner. Um, I'm not really convinced the original owners because it's only had one previous owner used it a lot. But they did some cool little upgrades to it. Like I noticed an upgraded shower head. They, uh, this originally had one of those old style analog um, thermostats for the uh, furnace because the air conditioner actually runs separately. The air conditioner you just control directly via the knobs up there basically. On, off, and red to blue, cold to cold, or whatever you got. I noticed too they also added the actual shade for the entry door because otherwise like it, it's it's black outside but uh so during the day nobody can see in but at night if it's lit inside here people actually could well now at least you have the choice of you know blotting that out if you want to now this is a uh, a bendy bed murphy bed model and um before we step outside i will take a second to get that opened up for you actually why don't i do that right now because one of the cool things here that's a, it's a camp queen bed but a lot of single axle campers have a only 54 inch wide bed. This is a 60 by 74. Now it's a folding mattress, so you gotta kind of plan ahead. But here's the thing. If you're looking at this, you realize it doesn't come all the way up to the kitchen counter. It does not block the entry door. So if you wanted to just change the mattress, if you're like, I don't care about the Murphy bed thing. I don't like to, I don't wanna mess with it. I just want a bed. This can just be a bed. And if you're crawling out of bed in the morning, or, you know, let's say it's just a rainy, drizzly day like it is today, and you just throw a pillow up against the headboard, and you're just kind of chilling over here, putting out the vibe, you know, just, just camping and vibing. Well, uh, you are straight across from the entertainment center, and wouldn't you know it, previous owner also added a uh, pretty decently sized TV there. I think they probably put about the biggest thing they could. Uh, the dinette has storage below the seating. You can fold that down to a small sleeper if need be. And up top here, uh, this is a six and a half foot tall ceiling. So generally people walking around won't have an issue. Even at my height, I don't hit this uh, AC knobs. And that is a 13,500 BTU, like full size air conditioner. And a little trailer like this, it'll do the job. Now from the other side of the bed, the viewing is actually even easier. And it kind of gives you an idea, like if you're sitting at the, uh, the rear facing dinette, Oh, you've got a decent TV situation there as well. I could actually see somebody like putting a laptop um, on the uh, the other dinette seat and then just using like a wireless keyboard and mouse and making this like a tiny little rolling mobile office kind of thing. Um, the uh, kitchen space over here, since this is a black label edition, has solid surface counters. And I just realized that's not the original factory faucet. Somebody upgraded that to that nice long neck sprayer job right there. As I started looking around, uh, I found a couple cool things. First of all, let's just look at the uh, the general kitchen storage space. Then we'll look at a couple of little bonuses that I found here. Uh, that, by the way, is one of the larger, almost 11 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor fridges. That thing is large. It is fast cooling. And I've actually had some people, because if you look around, like it doesn't really have a pantry. But a lot, I've had a lot of people say, I could always keep dry storage stuff in the fridge if I have to. Hmm. Well, you know, to each their own. Um, a handy little silverware organizer wouldn't be a bad uh, thing to invest in, and but, I mean, that's that's cheap. You can get those at the Walmart or your choice. What I found, though, I didn't realize. Previous owner added a camera, and it looks like, that looks like a tire pressure monitoring uh, little system there. So, I mean, they've added, like, you know, TV, camera, there's, I'm just doing quick math here probably eight, nine hundred bucks worth of aftermarket add-ons that they applied to this thing. And in, in case you're wondering, like, I've, I've, I haven't said anything like, ooh, what's wrong with this one? Here's the only blemish I've found behind the cooktop. It looks like maybe something warm splattered up there a little bit. And that's just a bubble on the contact paper. That's the worst I can find, guys. This thing's in ace condition. Correction. As I was getting ready to move back to the bathroom, I spotted a second blemish, but I also found where the previous owner did something to make sure that never happened. 
I looked down at this and I went, huh, okay. They changed the bathroom door handle. Why would they do that? And as I was opening it, look at the refrigerator door. See, right there, you see that little, that little blemish in the door right there? So at some point, they must have opened the refrigerator door and it clunked into the original uh, bathroom handle. And they went, uh-uh, not in my camper. Get rid of that stupid thing. And it's unfortunate the door's got a bump, but it's never going to happen again. It's never going to get any worse. So you don't have to worry about like the door getting punctured. Uh, and, and folks, that's about, for a small little camper, this thing has a big bathroom. That's as fluffy friendly as it gets, especially because that's a shower curtain, not a door. Meaning you have awesome, awesome elbow room in there. I see where they added one of those handy dandy little drawstring, like, um, you know, uh, swimming drunks kind of clothesline things uh, right there. They also swapped out the original uh, factory shower head for one of those oxygenics jobs that gets a little bit better pressure. Up top here, you got the big Max Air vent fan sucking the hair off your head and the fumes out of here on a Taco Tuesday. Um, the, uh, the bathroom here, one of the cool things about this model, it has a huge, uh, mirror in here and some really good counter space. So you actually have room to like set down a blow dryer, all that kind of stuff and plenty of cabinet space down below to keep a couple towels or, you know, a couple uh, rolls of butt napkins. Now, most of the black label thing on the Wolf Pup is actually outside. Normally, this would have the uh, corrugated metallic skin. This has that gorgeous high-gloss fiberglass and those sleek, frameless windows. You may notice over there, by the way, a uh, hot, cold outside utility shower, which is kind of nice. She's seven foot wide. Again, 3,350 pounds. I think uh, the GVW on this one, was it like just under 5,000 or something like that? So, uh, it, you know, say like you got a 5,500 pound tow rating or above, theoretically, this should always be well within your range. Uh, everything out here looks really good. Like the black label package puts that uh, hard shell propane tank cover on there. And you notice how like all the black plasticky stuff on this, it's not like weather checked and sun kissed. It makes me think this was probably stored indoors. Then again, it's such a young camper. It just literally may not have had time to be weathered. Black label gives us that uh, power tongue jack on the front doing the heavy lifting. Room up here for when you get unhitched. You have a place to actually like slot your hitch. Maybe keep a grill in there because down below we got a propane cooker hooker right next to four corner uh, stabilizer jacks. I like to point that out because not every single axle camper has those things. Um, Wolf Pups have actually become some of the um, more expensive single axle campers in their class, but they're also, I think, without a whole lot of arguing, the most heavily equipped in their class too. Uh, the uh, uh, door on this, people go, oh my God, is that a glass door? Uh, can't that break? Okay. Um, on either side of that is a giant window. Nobody bats an eyelash, though, about that window being there and potentially breaking, but people get worried about the door. Funny thing is, the door is a higher grade of glass. It's tempered glass and less likely to break. It's, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's impossible. I've only ever seen one instance of it happening, though. Um, it, so, I mean, not, not impossible, but r really darn hard. Outside TV hookups uh, down below your big picture window. You get a little glance at me over here in night mode with my little head sock on there. Remember, we had that uh, gas grill hookup. Plus, you got the little mini fridge outside with a little drawbridge drink prep door right there. Uh, perfect little side stand table basically built into the camper right next to you. Um, oh, the uh, the bumper. Easy, small little thing there. There's little um, bumper, like, uh, end cap locks on there. Little pins so that those uh, little uh, caps on the end don't jiggle out going down the road. Uh, backup camera installed on this one. Looks like a Furion model before they had switched over to the LCI Insight variety. Not too shortly after this was built because this thing is basically new. Um, up top, over the bathroom, you see you got the big uh, Max Air vent fan cover added to this. Uh, and then also up top, there is a, uh, a little solar panel. Which you can kind of see right there now that I have my uh, camera attached to a broomstick and bringing it down. And that's a 50 watt panel. This has a small charge controller, but what it's going to do basically is keep that battery tended up. So that when you haven't been uh, at your campsite for a while, when you haven't taken your camper out for a while, provided it's parked outside and has some level of sun exposure, you're going to make sure that battery's topped off. So that power tongue jack, that awning, whatever you need, it's going to be ready to roll. So whether you're looking to make an impression or if you're looking to disappear from your daily life, we got a good one for you here. Have a little fun. Come on down. Give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Have an A1 day, everyone.